Welcome to today's explanation of apostrophes. Quite often people use apostrophes when they shouldn't and miss them out when they should. Here's a simple way to figure out when to use them. First of all, there are two types of apostrophes. There's a possessive apostrophe, which is used to show that something is being owned by somebody. And the second use is for contraction, where we're trying to shorten two words, usually by joining them together. For possessive apostrophes, we need to have an owner and a thing. So, for example, we could have a bike, and the owner of the bike is the boy. Now, in order to convey the ownership of uh, the bike, we need to identify who the owner is, and it's the boy. Then all we need to do is add an apostrophe and an S, and we've got the boy's bike. So the Possessive apostrophe always goes after the owner, and this applies even when you're doing plurals. So, for example, we've got possessive apostrophes where there's a plural owner. More than one person owns the thing. So we've still got a thing, a bike, and this time it's owned by more than one boy, the boys. So we've identified who the owner is. It's boys, and then we simply add the apostrophe after the S. So that is the, own, the owners of the bike are plural, therefore we just need an apostrophe after the owner. Now, we don't bother putting a second S after it because it just looks a little bit too crowded. What happens if you've got a plural that is already made into a plural without using an S at the end of it? So for example, children. So we can just say the children's bikes. It doesn't matter whether the thing they own is plural or singular. The all we're interested in is whether the owner is plural or singular. And in each case, we put the apostrophe after the owner. Now, just talking about plurals, when we're talking about plural things, they do not ever need apostrophes. So if you see nachos on the menu, it's just nachos. Birthdays, many in the month, doesn't matter. Birthdays, no apostrophe. Dogs, the same thing. You get the idea. Don't use an apostrophe where you don't need one. We do need them for contractions, though. So just to clarify what a contraction is, if we've got the words I do not and we want to shorten them, we can say I don't. All we've done is we've taken out the O and we've replaced it with an a apostrophe and we've joined these two words together. So I do not becomes I don't. That's when you use an apostrophe. Similar story with it is, it gets shortened to it apostrophe s, its. Now, you might be wondering what happens with the other type of its. So the other type of its is in fact possessive, and that's when something is owned by an it. So its, no apostrophe, equals the thing that it owns. For example, if you've got a tree and it's bearing some fruit, you've got the tree's fruit. If you now want to use a pronoun, instead of referring to the tree as the tree, and you want to refer to it as it, and you want to talk about its fruit, you've got its, no apostrophe, fruit. So that is one of the exceptions to the possessive rule, mainly to be able to save confusion. If it's got an apostrophe, it stands for it is. If it's got no apostrophe, it's a possessive type of it. So there you have it in a nutshell, all the different types of apostrophes, when to use them and when not to use them. I hope that helps.